Alright everybody, welcome back to more Fire Emblem 6 The Binding Blade Blind-ish. So, we are here now. <laughs> Chapter 22, The Never-Ending Dream. Apparently we're taking on Zephiel today. Because, wow, this escalated very quickly. Like, Burn for the entire game has been like, they have like the biggest military in the world. They've conquered like every bit of the globe. Like, their military might is like ferocious. Who could stand against them? And it's like, oh, we're invading their territory. Oh, we're already at their castle and defeating their king. Like, right the heck now. So, things just escalated really quickly, but we're going to start Chapter 22. Nice to see you, Proxima and Simpsons R Us. Welcome, welcome. Oh, thank you. I, I need all the luck I can have today, because... <laughs> Well, it's, this definitely seems like the final chapter. After obtaining the Sword of Seals, Roy directed his troops towards Burns' capital, where King Zephiel was waiting. Inside the castle, Zephiel awaited with his personal guards at hand. Roy prepared to charge the castle to end this war, and to bring peace to Alib again. Ah. Sorry to hear that. Well, at least your internet's back now, so that's nice. All right, it's a big place, and we got a lot of, a lot of tough-looking enemies here. But we have promoted Roy now, who looks exactly the same as non-promoted Roy. But his stats are pretty good, except his defense. And we now have the Binding Blade, aka the Sealed Sword, and uh, this is gonna be good. Oh, I wonder how many units I'll be able to take on this chapter. Okay, we've split up the units in half. Cool. Devil Axe, Hand Axe, Silence. Stuck on it, the stupid si status staves. Longbow and Silver Bow. Oh, great, Berserk. That's not fun. Fenrir, Steel Lance, Steel Sword, Silver Axe. Hate all of these Berserkers. I didn't think Burns pers Zephiel's personal army was going to have so many Berserkers. Just doesn't seem in character for Burn. I guess, I guess all of the Wyvern Riders they sent... Yuck. I guess all the Wyvern Riders were sent to uh, Murdoch, and I killed them all. Well, that's nice. We won't have to expend a bunch of the legendary weapons here. But, ugh. It's a good thing I've got some powerful magic users, because those Berserkers are going to need all the help they can get. And, alright. We got some strong enemies, but I don't think there's anything that will be impossible to deal with. do 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 Alright, definitely taking Roy... Okay, we can take 16 units. Alright, well, we're taking we're taking the squad. Um, maybe not Fa. Because Fa... Uh, well, I also do want Fa and Elfin to build up their supports. But she only got 8 uses left on her Divine Stone. Who else would I want to take? I guess I could take, like, Yodel or Nime. But I could take Merlenis, honestly. That would not be a bad idea. Because I've got so much stuff that I want to pull out, so I actually think... Uh, it seems like a little bit of a waste, but not Percival. I already have two horse units. That is an idea. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Lennis. I guess we could also go Douglas? Nah. Douglas is too slow. He'll slow us all down. Well, first off, I guess... One thing we should check. Okay. Trade the Apocalypse over to Sophia. She's gonna need that. Okay, we got two sets of boots left. But the question is, who are we gonna give them to? Roy already has a pair, Deke has a pair, Ellen has a pair. Who doesn't have a pair? I might give another pair to Elfin. Because now that everybody has a set of boots, it's like I didn't give Elfin boots. Not Klein, he doesn't need it. Maybe Bart Ray. Oh, Rutger. Rutger needs boots. Fa could also use some boots. Hmm. Nah. I think I'll give one set of boots to Rutger and one set of boots to um, Elfin. Alright, Roy. Um... Lightbrand, maybe? No, nah, I'll give him the Worm Slayer. Oh, also, Deke needs his uh, Iron Blade back. This is a lucky Iron Blade. What swords can I use? 
Silver blade? No thanks. I'll get a silver sword, though. Um, I mean, I don't really know. It depends on how much of the game is left. This seems like it's the final chapter, and if it is, then we finish it tonight. Otherwise, we don't. Okay. It's time for Ariola! Alright. Somebody has my warp staff. Ah, yes. Klein! Give me that restore staff as well. You can have your stuff back. Whatever staves can we use? Um, Holy Maiden staff is good. Maybe a Berserk staff, honestly. Uh, nah, we don't need the Berserk staff. Another Restore staff would be nice for um, Clarine and or Lelina or whoever can use them. Silent Staff might be nice. We're gonna recover, I guess. Why not? <laughs> of course not. I never, ever lie. You should know this. Um, Bolting. We might be needing it on this level. Ooh, a hammer! Yes, please. And apart from that, you can use a steel lance, right? This should be fine. Give me that flux. wants a pair of boots, too! Oh, we got some good equipment on both Percival and Douglas. I mean, Douglas with the Slim Lance is staying. Might as well load up my characters with uh, equipment, even if they can't use it themselves. Alright, m'lady. It seems like you could use some help. Alright, this looks pretty good. I still need to decide if I want Fa or Merlin. I think I want Fa, honestly. I like Fa. And I want to build up that support. Brave Lance, though. Yeah, I don't really know what where to... Oh, I know. Fa's got room for equipment. Here you go, and... Uh, <laughs> for Bart Ray. There we go. Now we gotta make sure that the people are on the right side. So I definitely want Roy and Lolina on the same side. Boots are the best. Just, like, objectively. I also want Rutger and Clarine and Deke on one side. Uh, which horse is on which side? Okay, cool. I want Trek on that side. There we go, that should be nice. I think we have our band! Alright, uh, oh, oh, one thing we should do. What? <laughs> which rating do you want to see? Let's judge overall. All right, la la la. There's no way that our length ranking is good anymore. Keep up the good work. That's it. Let's see how much how we're doing for experience. How many Nick Junior shows have I seen? A handful. You're doing pretty well. Is that better than keep up the good work or not? This one, we're going to be doing real bad, because I've grinded up for supports first. Many, many turns. You're doing pretty well. No, I'm not. Lalum, you're just saying that because you've got a crush on Roy. Oh, yeah, PBS Kids was much more my jam growing up. You're doing pretty well. 
Well, that's it. Hey, Meat of Justice, welcome, welcome. So I'm just checking out to see what my tactics are like before going into the final battle. Which gir what girls don't have crushes on Roy in this? You're doing really well! Well, that's it. I don't know what battle skill means. That could mean a whole bunch of different things. <laughs> Roy is already getting married to Lalina, so she gotta move aside. Keep up the good work! You're not even gonna give me a... At least Fire Emblem 7 gave me a ranking of like 1 to 7 stars or whatever. I think it's actually 1 to 5 stars. Casualties. Not bad, not bad! Only like 8 people have died. <laughs> All right, and having said that, let's play. <laughs> Augury is not her name. Her name is Lalam. <laughs> Zephyr has the door closed, so you can't actually see him in there. <laughs> He's like, "What am I gonna do?" <laughs> so, Murdoch was defeated. I am sorry. How is the Aturian army behaving? They have captured the Temple of Seals. They are now headed this way. I see. Then we shall face them inside this castle. Yes, I will protect you to the death. Not you. Brenya, I have a very important task for you. What? Idun. Where is Idun? Here. I will stay here and defend the castle from the Aturian army. Idun, you must escape and hide until this battle is over. If his majesty wishes... Brenya, I want you to escape as well. Protect Idun. What? Please! Let me fight by your side! No. This will be a harsh battle. I cannot afford to lose Idun now. If Idun were to be lost, this whole war would be meaningless. But I. I. Enough, Brenya! This is an order. Are you telling me that you cannot follow your king's commands? No. I'm not saying that. Idun. Even if I were to fall, you understand, do you not? Yes. I will free the world as you ordered. Right. I will not give up my dream now. Yes. I do what I must. Oh. That was a good one. <laughs> the, the Aturian army has come! I will not let you invade the throne room! You could sound a little less scared about that. I shall protect this device with my life. This is the king's castle. Master Roy, Zephiel is residing in the throne room at the center of the castle. However, there are some special devices that protect the throne room when invaders appear. How do you know this? <laughs> what kind of devices? One of the captives said that at the west end of the castle there are some switches that need to be maneuvered first. It'll be a long detour. There's more. After hitting the switches, you must hold the gem in front of the throne room to make it open. Gem? Is it the Fire Emblem? Probably. I have that with me. So I should head to the throne room while leaving the switches to the others. That would be the shortest way. But would the captives leak that kind of information so easily? Perhaps it's a trap. No, the captive also said the switches and the door are all defended by Burn's most powerful warriors. Even if you knew how to get into the throne room, you wouldn't be able to get there. We need to try, even if we're going up against powerful enemies. We're pretty strong as well. We won't lose! And here we go. Okay, Roy's at least map sprite is a little different. But his battle sprites looked exactly the same. Love this music, though. Who's my favorite Winnie the Pooh character? I mean, Pooh is great, but I also have a soft spot for Rabbit. I relate to Rabbit a lot. Alright. I can't wait to use Apocalypse. It's going to be great. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, keep out of the way of the Berserker. I just want to see Apocalypse out. <laughs> Okay, that's one of the coolest looking moves ever. 
Ah, uh, there you go, Sophia. That's your level up. <laughs> I am fast now. Wow. I mean, it's no Arishkigal, but it's probably a sec it's probably second. I also must remember I have the warp staff. I could warp someone in there and then rescue them out. I did end up training Sophia. I have also pumped her full of stat boosters, which is why she has 21 speed, as well as 41 HP. But to be fair, she had a decent amount of speed anyways. I gave her... Well, okay, I bought a bunch of speed wings, and I gave her, like, two or three. No regrets. None. Okay. Roy needs to be trained, though. Because he's still only level one. Oh. No need to use this item. I want to equip it. No regrets. Hey, Mobius, how's it going? Doc on it, this music is so good. Probably should have brought a uh, healthier air caliber to him, but what's done is done. You've got a hand axe. Interesting. Oh no, Bart, we don't have any bows. Eh, that's okay. I don't want to deal with that guy right now, anyways. Oh, shoot, should have used the boots, dug on it. Oh, yeah. Well, I reset for Sophia because I needed her alive. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is why I brought a restore staff. <laughs> Ruker's like, I don't care who I fight for. Must kill. It's like, Ruker, don't you have like a massive grudge against Burn? Must kill. <laughs> that was almost bad. Go. <laughs> Most kill burn. Burn, <laughs> guys, burn would be that way. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was the greatest tragedy in history. Alright. Roy, how do you deal with this? Alright, you don't double this guy. Which I guess makes sense. It is a mercenary. Burn, baby, burn! All right. Yeah, he has the exact same battle animations, even though he's a quote-unquote master lord. It's so dumb. Volina will double this guy, right? Yeah, because I pumped her also full of the stat boosters. Hey, kids, this is Al, from the Al Sword. <laughs> wow, really? Really? Curse you, Fire Emblem. Ooh, yes, perfect. Oh, I'll do my best to keep everybody alive, duh. It's not like I'm going to try to lose anyone. But at this point in the game, like, anybody who I lose, it's going to be a pretty significant blow. Because all my units that I have at this point, I have trained. Okay, I don't want to get in range of that guy, but I will get in range of this guy. Wait, no, that guy has a hand axe, and he can toss it at Lolina, and I don't want that. Oh, 
Oh, you fool. Star Trek will destroy you! <laughs> oh my gosh. Star Trek! Star Trek! <laughs> no, this... Er, that was not as sad as not getting the picture in a, uh, Harvest Moon, no. My favorite and least favorite Disney character? That's... I can't tell you that off the top of my head. So I'll say... Um, hmm. I mean, Radigan is my favorite Disney villain. Least favorite Disney character? Oof. I really don't like Ariel. She's awful. <laughs> wow, that was a slow attack. Dark magic in this game is really slow. <laughs> like, it, it moves like twice as fast in Fire Emblem uh, 7. Nice job, Sophia. <laughs> They're like, well, might as well just keep trying to uh, berserk Rooker. Maybe they'll stop trying to restore him. Also, I just want to see what's Rooker's critical hit rate right like right now. 109 critical hit rate. That's impressive. <laughs> My only regret is that I did not is that Lot got stat screwed and I wasn't able to use him on Actually no. My <laughs> My main regret actually is probably that Gonzalez died. Cuz I was I was totally going to use Gonzalez. I was all set to use Gonzalez massively, and then he died. And by the time Gonzalez died, because I put more effort into him than Lot, and Lot had kind of gotten stat screwed, I'm like, Lot is not worth it. I'm just gonna use Bartray instead. <sighs> all right. Do 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 do. Ah, boom, boom, boom. Hmm, 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 hmm. I don't like that 25%. Shrek, can you tank this if he crits? Um, barely. Although if he crits, he might damage himself. Never mind. Yep, Trek is fine. Which is better, the bare necessities, or I want to be like you? Not really that much of a fan of either of them, if I can be frank. Jungle Book was just very meh, but I'll say... Probably prefer one to be like you. <laughs> oh no, that person has a silent staff. If only I had magic units on this side. Build that Trek support. Alright. Rooker's gotta go this way. <laughs> I love how... <laughs> Quick, Sophia is. My gosh, this is disgusting. Why do people call King Louie a villain? Because he kidnaps Mowgli. <laughs> That's why. As it turns out, if you end up kidnapping the main character, people tend to see them at TCU as a villain. I'm not saying it's right, but it does make sense. I also want to try out my Ariola. Oh, that's right. Fa needs to use her boots. My horse can move as fast as my flying Pegasus. I love it. Sword Reaver. Um, I'm pretty sure that Bart Ray already has one of those, though. Maybe that was a mistake using that on Fa, but 
I don't know. She only has five movement. Why are you attack- <laughs> They're like, oh my gosh, flying unit, I can do so much damage! It's like, I have a Delphi shield, and I'm a lady. Eighteenth time is the try <laughs> is the charm, huh? Actually, wait, is- Oh yeah, she is. There you go, you wasted your last Berserk Staff. This is why we need... <laughs> Restore staves. Oh, none of my guys have long-range weapons. Uh, whoops. Okay, this seems like a pretty fun chapter. Alright, let's use the Binding Blade. Dang! Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's a sword that shoots fire. That's epic. I'll give you that. Alright, Roy. Eh, that's a Roy level up. <laughs> I've watched other Let's Players. Oh yeah, absolutely. Not as much as I used to. Dragon Shield! Oh, we're keeping that. Alright, we'll send the Armor Slayer back. Oh, hey! I'm giving that Dragon Shield to Roy. No question. Oh, wait. Hang on. I think... Shoot. Well, I gave the boots to Fa anyways, I'm like, actually, I was probably going to give the boots to, uh, Elfin. But we're too late, as, as Swiper likes to say. Okay, Sophia is kind of stupidly good at this point. Again, I know that it's partly because I pumped her full of stat boosters, but... Even if, she, even, even if I didn't, she would still be kicking butt offense-wise. Eat this. What episodes of Dora the Explorer do I like? I cannot name a single episode of Dora the Explorer. I can name characters and quotes from it, but I couldn't really tell you what any one episode is about. You gotta understand, Dora the Explorer was my sister's fan. I did not watch it. All that I saw of Dora was what my sister basically watched and I had to watch in the background. Oh, he does he only has a steel lance. I ain't wasting a light brand on that. Oh, Max and Ruby was a good show. Yeah, I like that one. Then again, I also really like the books. Oswald! That was the octopus, right? Didn't really watch him a lot. Wait, what have I done? Uh, Bar Ray's not gonna get doubled from this, is he? Oh, it doesn't even matter, because he dodged one. Oh, no. Pfft. He actually doubles. Wow, everybody missed. Everybody miss but me. <laughs> Here, take my hand axe. But also, we're gonna use. Oh my gosh, 0% hit against Ruger. Oh, that's right, Light Brand can't crit at a distance. <laughs> Emmy wished on a dragon scale, and that's what started Dragon Tales. Like, so let me get this straight. Like, Max and Emmy move to a new house that they'd never been before. Then they, like, find an actual dragon scale in their, like, room's drawer. 
like, use it. Make a wish on it. Their wallpaper comes to life and teleports them to a land filled with dragons. Okay, sure. Wait, Lightbrand always does a flat 10 damage no matter what? That sucks. Why? That's, that sucks. Why would anyone want to use that? My gosh. Sophia is doubling a hero. Granted, the hero is wielding a very hefty axe, but still. Bet you don't see this in every Fire Emblem 6 playthrough. <laughs> Dude, she's so good. Yeah, that's true. Swords are... Well, no, swords are good in this because they're so accurate. This is the switch? Nothing's happening, though. Give it some time. We gotta push both of them switches. There we go. Oh man, Roy's so good now. Okay, you've got a silver axe and you've got a silver sword. Alright. Yeah, I'm not scared. Okay, this 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 stage is a lot better than the last one when it comes to uh, enemy spawn rate. All right, take this. <laughs> I literally have one hand axe. Why are hand axes so hard to come by in this? <laughs> like the brave little toaster. Oh, you can reach me. You fool, I have Ariola. I've been waiting for this for so long! Ah, oh, yes! Ha ha! <sighs> I mean, hey! Roy isn't bad by himself. At least my Roy is not bad by himself. I mean, he's not as good as some of my other units, but I think he's definitely getting a bad rap. Alright, he got strength! Nice! I don't really care about those guys down there. Although, we don't need all this entire entourage to go up. We don't need them, but we're still gonna bring them! <laughs> Oh, that was close, actually. <laughs> Rats, that's not enough power to kill him. Oh well, we can at least mortally wound him. <laughs> Out of Arthur's friends, which one did I like and dislike? I mean... I like a lot of our first friends. Buster and uh, Brain are probably my favorites. Least favorites, gotta go with Francine. I know Francine's kind of written to be unlikable, but, like, she goes too far. Also, Muffy's not great. Especially since I just finished watching uh, Season 1 of Arthur again. Man, Francine is way more jerky than I remember. Like, I always remembered her being a jerk, but, like, she was a lot worse than I remember. <laughs> Lance, you're gonna go all by yourself down here. I have full faith in you. What happened to your crit rate, bro? You're a berserker. Oh yeah, Meek for a week. I remember that episode. Okay, hang on. No, 
Normally I would go for it, but if he hits that 2% crit, then Clarine dies. So I ain't doing that. But instead... Ladies and gentlemen! Critker, activate! <laughs> Finally, he has over a 100% chance to crit. That's amazing. <laughs> Rooker's only weakness, he sucks at range. And also, he's pretty squishy. But he dodges almost everything anyways, so... Doesn't matter a whole lot. Alright, I'll leave that guy to Roy. I mean, Deke can honestly solo these guys, but I think I'm gonna send Trek that way. I guess Bartley, you can go back down. Maybe deal with the bishop. <laughs> the Ike. Yep. Thus earning him the title Critger. <laughs> Rats. Okay. Hey, Lolina, can you miss one of these? Just one. Okay. Now hit this one. No, you were supposed to just miss one. Now we might be in a little trouble. Yikes, that guy's fast. Maybe he'll crit with the sealed sword. Nope. Darn. Oh wait, but now we I don't want to finish him off with... Ah, uh, might have to, though. I mean, he's not going to double Lelina. They'll both survive one of the attacks, so that's fine. I'm just waiting for something to spawn on the stairs. Probably someone with a bolting tome. I get that a lot. People always say that I'm, I have a blue ghost from Pac-Man as my... Nope. It's a unique avatar. It's just supposed to be an ink blot. see where this goes. Yeah, of course he's attacking Lelina. She dodged. Darn it, I really wanted Roy to get that kill. Why are YouTube banners really annoying to make? I'll, I'll tell you why. Because the cropping is impossible to do properly. It has to be, like, the image you use as your YouTube banner has to be a specific size, but then it completely changes what parts of it actually shows depending on whether people are viewing YouTube from, like, their laptop, or their TV, or their phone. It's, it's, like, I don't think it's really possible to make a YouTube banner that properly will show the right thing for every single person using different parts of YouTube. Like, it's just not possible, so I gave up. Alright, Trek will f do well going that way. I guess now we can head this way. Here, <laughs> heal up your boyfriend. <laughs> I appreciate your advice, but, like, no. I've tr I have tried so many different things for the YouTube banner. It just does not work. So I've given up trying. Besides, I'm very, very proud of the YouTube banner I have right now. It's my finest work. <laughs> 
You, if you're saying that to be tease in a teasing way, like, <laughs> I mean, they're literally in a relationship right now, so. I don't want... Okay, these guys aren't really moving, so I don't want all of these guys to attack Lance. Hang on. He's got 12 defense, and this guy has 32 attack! Nope! Yuck. Yeah, he dies if he, if they, he gets crit, so I'm not doing that. Sophia can attack him on her turn. Because of course she can. Meanwhile, Zephiel's just like whoop the doo watching watching the latest TV program. It's hammer time. going. Now, I don't want... Okay. You've got a steel sword. Alright. I don't want her to completely die. Oh, but here's what we're going to do. Alright. So you can take on this guy. What TV program is Zephyr watching? <laughs> Dragon Tales, duh. <laughs> he really likes dragons. He's like, Burn needs dragons in their army. It's like, he's like, wait, this isn't going to be like Dragon Tales? Beautiful. Doodle doodle doo. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z is. <laughs> Is after Dragon Tales on the same channel. Nice job. Oh my gosh, this guy doesn't even have anything to attack with. What a goon. I mean, Bart Ray doesn't have anybody to support with, so. I've never seen James and the Giant Peach, but Nightmare Before Christmas. Boom, one shot. Hammer time! I mean, Trek honestly could kick butt without the hammer, but I have it, so. Crit, crit, crit! No, you can't attack Bart Ray like that! How dare you? I know what James and the Giant Peach is, I've just never seen it or read it. I love having units that all have ridiculously high movement. It's so nice. Here we go, Thaney. I'm so glad that you can participate in the combat. Man. Thaney has her uses, but she is not strong. At all. Take that. <laughs> Take that, Captain Gelatin. <laughs> Um, Roy, you don't have great res, do you? You got an 11. So we're gonna have to deal with those two at the same time. I guess we could use the bolting, though. 
That was a Pajama Sam 2 reference. I, I always randomize the sound effects for that. Why are Fenrir druids so frightening? Aha! I knew enemies were going to pop out of there. Uh-oh. Wow, Chlorine. Your your magic is just so fantastic. Doesn't matter how fast you are, if you do zero damage. It's hard to deal with. No! You can't put Klein to sleep! Oh, yeah! See? You cannot put Klein to sleep! <laughs> what did I tell you? Oh, he's got a Divine Tome, though. Well, let's use the Killer Bow. Oh, yeah! Snipe! In yo face! And what do you have? Oh, you got a silent staff, but you didn't even try to use it on Ellen because you knew it wouldn't work. <laughs> Disappointed that I don't one round this guy or even one shot him. It's not like Ellen's in any danger, though. Go. Oh yeah, you're down there. Beautiful. Oh yeah. The music on this level is fantastic. I do wish that Roy could promote earlier so he could level up outside of the final chapter. All right, he got speed, everybody! <laughs> me, 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 me! All right. <laughs> I have an idea. Take that. <laughs> yeah. Lavina is disgustingly powerful. Oh no, he can hit her with the longbow now. What? Goodness gracious, whatever shall we do? Sound the alarm. Call Scotland Yard. <laughs> Actually, wait. I don't want Mr. Druid Man to attack Sophia and have her ret retaliate by killing in one hit. That's right. <laughs> you don't even have a weapon. What a goofus. Alright. Ah, oh, hand axe if only you had one more strength. Simpsons will never end. It makes too much money for them to allow it to end. Bloing. So long, burn. It is the longest running show. At least in America. There may be some anime that have gone on for longer than it. No! You're not allowed to do that. 
No, you're not allowed to do that. Only I can heal. <sighs> it's okay, Bart Ray. You, you got time. <laughs> Alright, here we go, Roy. Definitely glad I gave Roy a Silver Sword. He's making good use of it. Now, just dodge this nasty dark magic attack. Yes! Just like that. Boom! I was expecting tougher enemies here, I'll be honest. Um, I've heard of the Tracy Ullman show. Never seen it, though. Yeah, oh, is that... yeah. Well, but Mickey Mouse cartoons have had multiple different names. So there was, like, the original cartoons, then there was, like, Mouse Works, House of Mouse, which, by the way, massively underrated show. I love me some House of Mouse. Who needs a heal? Master Roy, you need a heal. I have so many staff users, but most of them suck at using staves. <laughs> Mickey Mouse Club... Yeah, that's true. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse aren't really Mickey cartoons, though. It's more just... I don't know. A cartoon that happens to... It's like a TV show that happens to star Mickey Mouse. But it, it's not really a Mickey Mouse cartoon, I would say. I don't think I'm making much sense there, but... Any last words? <laughs> the Simpsons reboot in 2060X? You know, I would be down for a future Arthur reboot if they were willing to make it good. But here's the thing. Look, like, Arthur used to be super amazing, really, milady. Like, the first couple seasons of Arthur are amazing, and even then, like, seasons, seasons like, five through nine are, like, they're not the same quality, but they're still, like, good. Season 10 through like 14 or 15 kind of took a dip and then one th as soon as it as soon as it changed over to flash animation like that's really when Arthur I think lost its way. If they were willing to put the time and effort into making it good again, like that could be great. But I don't necessarily see that happening. Also, I'm pretty sure if they rebooted Arthur they'd make it 3D animated, which is like nope, please do not do that. As I can confirm with Arthur's missing pal. Arthur does not do well in 3D animation. Alright, Lelina. Here's your level up. <sighs> Gotta love it when they level up nothing. Wow, was that the first time a status a silent staff actually missed? I'm completely gobsmacked. Come on, finish the job. How are you missing this much? Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh, I can double somebody with bolting. That's nuts. I'm not opening that throne room. Well, I can't open that throne room until we hit that button. And for some reason, we can't hit the button because Milady keeps missing these 85% chance to hits. Um, I remember Toot and Disney. Leo and Stitch the series. That was a good one. How do Elfin and Fa not have a support yet? I've had them next to each other for so freaking long. Oh boy, a Nosferatu. 
I mean, we already have one of those, so we don't need it. I mean, again, we won Stitch the series. I would hesitate saying that it's great, but it was definitely entertaining. Talk on it. Bart Ray, can you please hit this guy? Thank you. Here you go. Heal him up. I'm trying to remember all the Toon Disney cartoons, because there was like Lilo and Stitch the series, House of Mouse, Goof Troop, um... DuckTales was on Toon Disney as well. That was good. Oh my gosh! Recess! Recess was really good. Oh, dog on it. Okay, at least he only has vulneraries. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I... After my family got Disney Plus, I rewatched like all of Recess over the course of a year. That show holds up so well. Like, man, that was a good show. Oh yeah, I vaguely remember Buzz Lightyear and Star Command. Oh, just ah, these two guys are just gonna physic each other over and over again. Alright, level up for Bart Ray. He oh my gosh, he got speed. That's phenomenal. Just finished the job, Bruger. <laughs> That's funny, like Recess was a show like I enjoyed it as a kid and I think I like it more as an adult now. <laughs> It, has, it had a good periphery demographic, just like uh, Arthur did. Alright, my lady's pretty injured. Let's wait here. This is the switch? Nothing's happening, though. Here we are. You have come. <laughs> How ironic. A child stepping in my path. Zephiel, King of Burn. I will ask you this. Why did you start this war? I wish to end the Age of Man. What? No! King Edward's on the throne. It's the Age of Man. It's a great time, bro. <laughs> what? Humans. Humans are filthy. They flock to those with power and would not think twice about betraying trusted allies to obtain more power. You must have witnessed numerous traitors in your travels. Yeah, like literally everybody. It was almost, it was kind of ridiculous. Am I right? Jealousy, hate, greed. Friends, even family members would be driven to kill by these stupid emotions. Such emotions make fathers who try to kill their own sons to save their own flesh. As long as humans control, as long as humans dictate, as long as humans exist, this madness will never end. Um, and what makes you think that putting dr uh, someone else in charge will be better? But look at what you're doing! You are one of the humans who control other humans! You know how the scouring ended. The Dark Dragon was defeated by Hartnett. That was the mistake. That was his mistake! Mistake? Mankind should not have won. Just because the humans came out victorious, the world came under their control and transformed into a world of madness and evil. Driven by accursed emotions! Yeah, I knew he was trying to bring the dragons back into power. <laughs> I mean, it was pretty obvious for the whole game. Mistakes must be fixed with haste. I will give back the world to the dragons. What makes you think the dragons will do a better job? I th they might do a worse job. Considering that all of the dragons we face have just been like, Kill. I will free the world from the evil grasp of men. History must be redone from the beginning again to save this world from everlasting evil. Man, Zephyl, I was hoping you'd be a more interesting villain than this, but no, you're just very boring than... Is it true you resurrected the Dark Dragon? You may see that for yourself. You said you would give the world to the dragons. 
then rule by humans would just be replaced by a similar rule by dragons. Exactly. The dragons you see now are weapons for battle. They have no self. They have no cruel emotions to be driven by, unlike humans. The world under dragons' control would be fair and peaceful. I cannot agree that such a world would be for the better good. It is true that humans have many evil emotions and do terrible things, but it has always been us humans who have corrected them. <laughs> you are indeed naive. I have faith in mankind. I will not lose to a man who has lost faith in people and even in himself. Oh no, ambush spawns. <laughs> everyone's just everyone's just, <laughs> we're going for the e the villain's evil rant and people are just talking about Toon Disney uh, shows oh wow wow Zephyr has a flippin hero's crest what is with Binding Blade throwing out all of these promotional items and like the very end of the game well after the time you actually can make use of them and he has the Eka Exacus usable only by the King of Burn one to two range so is basically his version of the Binding Blade okay he's gonna be a tough opponent Like, seriously, like, end of Binding Blade, it's like, oh, you know how you've only had, like, literally one Hero's Crest, or one Knight's Crest for the entire game, despite having, like, five or seven characters who need Knight's Crest to promote? Oh, well, here's, like, three Knight's Crests all in the last few chapters. It's like, that doesn't help. All right, who else do we have? Silver Bow, uh, Divine Recover, Manakeets with Flamestones, great. Fenrir, Fenrir, at least not as through Lance Reaver, and Silver Sword. Let's air caliber this fool. Exacus more than Ekasax? Uh, uh, both of those words are a mouthful. Oh boy, a third sleep staff that I'm never gonna use, because why would you use it? Better cover up that staircase, you never know who's gonna show up. Oh, I just realized somebody might show up over there. Did somebody say Roy? Oh, wait. That's a lot of people. Actually, maybe we should pull back. Oh, good lord, Sealed Sword is ridiculous against man uh, against Manakeets. Actually, maybe we should pull back. Nah. Ooh! Sophia, a druid crit. I love it. Oh, yeah, Zack and Cody! That was a fun show. <laughs> it had some hit or miss, but yeah, that was that was a good show. Never saw that so Raven, but I I know about it. That's like girl high school girl has psychic powers, right? Like that's kind of the premise. Okay, I think I think it will be wise to do a strategic retreat. Sorry, Lolina, but I'd rather have Sophia out. She's, uh, more reliable. Alright, I think that's gonna do it. She could see the future. Yeah, something like that. Okay, this is gonna be tough to deal with all these enemies at once, but- Oh, shoot! Those guys are running straight for Trek. Or actually, wait. No, there's a there's a solid wall in the way. Never mind. Oh, Phineas and Ferb was amazing. Love that show. Love that Joker. What I really like about Phineas and Ferb is they decided to end the show before I think it got stale. Like they didn't wait for it to be like, oh, like oh, this show isn't very good anymore. Like no, they they ended it at the right time. Fa, how do you fare against your fellow Manakeets? Oh my gosh, you can one-shot them. 
Yes, please. Rah! In your face. Ah, Perry the Platypus! Your timing is uncanny! And by uncanny, I mean completely canny! <laughs> you see, I just invented the Fire Emblemator! <laughs> It will destroy anybody who tries to take the Fire Emblem. How do you fare against the Manakeet? Oh, good lord. <laughs> this puts... <laughs> this takes Apocalypse Now to a completely different level. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Phineas of Herb was another show that I thought was, like, very consistent throughout its its runtime. Like, it wasn't like, oh, it took a season for it to find its own. Like, no, even season one is really good. <laughs> oh my gosh, magic and speed. It's the best combo. That's you. Ooh. Let's use Binding Blade at a distance. Here, you stay behind, take Lelina, dump her out. Lance, how do you fare against these guys? Ah, perfect. Alright, the front room is pretty tough, but we got, we got enough... I'm glad I brought my strong fighters and brought them all here. Nice job, Lance. With a good enough weapon, you can one round. Oh! <laughs> yes, please! Okay, that's a cool animation for the sealed sword when you use it up close. Dude, that's boss. And speaking of boss, let's see Roy's great level up. All right, hey, he got speed. I'll take it. <laughs> Let's use Sophia some more. Because I have issues. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Sophia is disgustingly good if you use her. Or maybe I just got lucky, or maybe she's only disgustingly good because I'm playing on normal mode and pumped her full of stat boosters and babied her up. But, like, man, I'm, I'm really glad I decided to use her. She's one of those units... Man, is she a pain to use. Man, is she a pain to train up. But if you do, it's super rewarding. It's like Nino. Okay. Sure, why not? I don't like where this is going. If that Berserker can reach Sophia, I'm gonna be upset. Actually, oh shoot. If Sophia dies, I literally have to reset because she has Apocalypse. No. She's in the center of the room, isn't she? She is. Berserker can reach her. Do uh, please dodge. Please dodge. Please dodge. Thank you. Oh, actually, wow. That guy wouldn't have killed Sophia. It's a Berserker lugging a hammer! How would that have not killed Sophia? Nino didn't feel rewarding? Oh, no, she's so good if you level her up for, and get her for the two chapters that you actually... I mean, there's not much point in using Nino because, like, she only gets slightly better than Pent, and Pent is just disgusting. Well, I mean, you, you gotta use Pent. You gotta make the enemies re-Pent. Oh, oh, Ellen, you're so good! No, you can't procline to sleep! <laughs> Do another dodge. Oh. He dodged the 93, he's not dodging again. Hmm. 
I watched a bit of Adventure Time. I watched one episode of the regular show. Not impressed. At all. Here's the, like the I watched I watched an episode of the regular show. I'm like, I mean this show isn't bad, but it's not good. It's just nothing. It was like I was watching just someone's incredibly boring life. I don't know. I only I couldn't tell you the episode. Couldn't tell you what happened in it. It literally was just so incredibly boring. Use your iron blade, my son. <laughs> Alright, I need to preserve that last iron blade. Cause that's that's that is for those of you who don't know, that is the iron blade that Deke started this adventure with. So I gotta keep using it. My favorite episode of, uh, of Adventure Time was the one where they play the card game. <laughs> I flooped the pig. No! <laughs> the card war. Yeah, that, that episode is hilarious. Who should I take on Zephiel with? Or should I, like, tag team him? Sophia fair against him. Oh. Uh, hate that 8% crit. Also, she doesn't do nearly as much damage as I expected. Oh, he has he has more res than defense? How does that make sense? Also, I want to steal that hero's crest. <laughs> Not because it would actually be good for me, but just because I can. Also, that's an army of units that are heading over towards um, Klein and Ellen. No, El no. You have to stay here and give Roy some moral support. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, Zephiel! Remember all those times you died to Bolting in Fire Emblem Seven? Oh no, they know my weakness. You shall not bar my path. Oh, I think I will. <laughs> I have his ultimate weakness, Bolting. We know he can't stand it. Oh no, I forgot to have somebody trade his equipment. Okay, you're gonna get a hand axe. And hopefully, if two things pop out of here, they won't kill Alina. No, I'm not. I'm not setting them go out. No, nope. Cool. No more reinforcements from there. At least not this turn. Oh, you can make memes out of anything. You can make memes out of the pictures you take of the waffles you eat in the morning. And those are the best kinds of memes. Along with Thomas the Tank Engine memes. Yay, she hit double digit defense! <laughs> It was time for Thomas to leave. He had seen everything. Sophia's getting close to breaking, like, all of her weapons. <laughs> and she had, like, almost full uses on all of her weapons when she started the level. <laughs> this is crazy! Oh man, he dodges in his sleep.
Who goes to Taco Bell, let alone for sandwiches? Sorry, I'm that snob who's like, I don't like Taco Bell because I actually like Mexican food. And I do. When I make dinner, there's like a 50% chance it's going to be something Mexican related. <laughs> but you know, sometimes you want that really cheap, fast meal. And you know what? Taco Bell at least does the job. So, I at least can kind of respect it. Not really, but... Okay, I need to get physicked up. Bad. But I only have one physics staff, don't I? How does Lelina fare against Zephyl? She doubles Zephyl and has a no crit. That's funny. I don't trust these staircases, though. No, I actually, I absolutely do not trust these stairs at all. Oh no, Cricker lost all his power. Because he doesn't have his support buddies with him. How does Roy fare with Lelina giving him that... Sweet, sweet, uh, bonus. Oh, dang. He actually does great. Apparently, Zephyl doesn't count as an armored unit, though. Which is weird. Alright, that's how we're gonna be finishing the job, I guess. Don't know if this means it's because Roy is good, or probably just because the Binding Blade is good. Alright, we got Lance... Silver Sword and Lance Reaver, alright. Yeah, Rooker can deal with these. This squad. Especially if Sophie is giving him backup... What's my favorite fast food restaurant? Chick-fil-A. It's not even a question. Chick-fil-A is on a completely different caliber than anything else. They also have this uncanny knack of always making you crave it when it's a Sunday. I don't know how they do it. But as soon as Sunday hits, I get to, oh man, I just, I gotta have Chick-fil-A right now. And then my least favorite, White Castle. Excuse me, but burgers should not be soggy. Well, I am not Harold nor Kumar, so it does not apply to me. My gosh, even when Rooker crits, he doesn't one hit shot that guy. Take it out. I have not seen Harold and Kumar. Nope. If it's not an animated movie, there's a good chance I probably have not seen it. I don't like that mob that's just... This angry mob that's just heading over this way. Hey, doofus! Attack me through the wall! with the... Oh, okay. Uh, I, I, I would love to be able to kill Zephiel with the Bolting. That would be phenomenal. As much as Milady needs to be physicked, Klein needs this more. I've seen some live-action movies. Oh, yeah. But a lot of the famous ones, that like, people are like, how have you not seen, like, Die Hard? It's like, well, I don't watch movies that much. That's how. Uh, I knew there was some guy who was going to come out of the staircase like that. Okay. 
I'm actually glad that Deke does not kill that guy in counterattack, because otherwise he might have been able to be double teamed by these guys. Oh boy. Do I watch South Park? No. No, I don't. I see zero appeal in South Park. It seems like it's just completely nasty and dirty and crude for no real reason. Can you not walk on pillars in this? That's weird. They normally give you an invasion bonus. <laughs> My arm adds is running low on uses, but it's okay. We got eight more left, and I wanted to deal with that guy. Beautiful. That'll keep him shut up. Okay, here we go. Milady, you need this. It, it is a long chapter, but it's also we're fighting the final boss, so... I would expect nothing less. Ouch. Nobody doubles these guys, wow. Oh, the <laughs> Trek doesn't need the double. Trek's got this well under control. <laughs> Level up! Ooh, HP, uh, strength, and skill. If we finish this game this stream, what will Wednesday's stream be? Good question. Don't know. Also, how have, how have no enemies come out of the staircases here? It really seemed like they were going to have enemies come out of the staircases there. Alright, yeah, we don't need any more, but it's fine. Zephyr's like, I'm waiting! <laughs> Hollow Knight is gonna be the next series. I don't know if I'll start the series this week if I finish this, though. It might, I might do just a... Oh, you know what I might do? You know what I actually might do if we finish uh, the game tonight? I might do a one-off old computer game. Because you can do that. Alright. I don't want to take the long way around, so... Yoink! Oh, though, there's going to be a stream on Wednesday. Oh, yeah, um... Give me that killing edge. Did someone say, Hero's Crest? Eh. Booyah. <laughs> you didn't have to. I could tell you were thinking it. Malt shop! Mmm. I do love the legendary weapons. They're really cool. I wish they had, like, maybe 25 or 30 uses. I think that would be a nice median. Oh no, Trek's actually taking damage. This shouldn't be allowed. All the games hanging out at the mold shop. Getting liverwurst ice cream. How have they not gotten their support yet? This is ridiculous. <laughs> Let's split up, Gain. Ah, 
More! <laughs> More! <laughs> this guy's attacking Mo80. Not because it's the smart thing to do tactically, but because he wants to use more of my malt. <laughs> he wants me to break the malt. I wonder if Zephyr has special boss dialogue for different characters. Sure, please! You can put my thief to sleep. I do not care. Astol has gotten everything he needs to on this level. Nice job, Klein. Nice to see you have some uses. What do you have? You got a silent staff. I don't really care about the silent staff that much. This might end up being a free hour alone stream. Possibly. It depends. Here, Thaney, you land on there. We'll have Lance and Lilina giving uh, Roy the support bonuses. Oh, look at that. Look at that! Oh, this is cool. Oh, that's a, that's a boss animation. Literally. Yikes. Man, he kicks butt, I gotta admit. Do 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 Man, if he if he doesn't count as an armored unit, that kinda sucks. Oh my gosh, Trek just does Trek's like, what's that? I don't have enough power to finish this off with my second attack? I'll just do a low percent crit. <laughs> what an absolute Chad. Hmm, he heals a lot on that throne. Oh, nice dodge. Oh, wow! It's a crit. Dude, double crit for Roy! Zephyr's dead! So you have defeated me. But remember, my will shall never die. As long as humans retain control, madness will persist. Yeah, yeah. Wow, double crit. Roy's just as like, I've had enough of you and your stupid worldview. <laughs> Just get out of here. <laughs> Darn it, I didn't get to kill him with bolting like it like it's Fire Emblem 7. <laughs> ah well. These fiends happen. Alright. Only enemy left is the guy who can't even attack, so all that's really left is to heal people up. And then stand on the staircases and build up support ranks. Alright. Okay, yeah, Elfin, you and Fa can support. You should support. I don't know why you haven't supported. All right, I've had enough of this guy. <laughs> He's like, wait, no, no, I, it, it was just a joke. It was just a prank, bro. <laughs> Boom. No one is safe from Lelina and her bolting. 
I went from disliking this game to liking this game. I mean, this game still has some really bad game design. And I don't like that. But I like, I've liked training up my units and getting them really good. It has been rewarding leveling up these puny little units into being absolute monsters. I just don't like the game's design of... Wow, <laughs> Lolina has one more HP than Roy. Granted, I think I gave her two angelic robes, so that's why. Like, ambush spawns still should not be a thing. No way, no how. There we go. Alright, we are building up these stupid supports. Are you serious? Dude, your cane is dead! With all the hips I feel! <laughs> this is for dead. I, I do not understand why they don't just give up. Really? More EXP for Klein, I guess. <laughs> um, we... I... I'm not sure if we'll finish off Pikmin 2 this week, but we're finishing off Fire Emblem 7 this week. Nice one, pretty boy. Cut lower, come on! Just talk to each other! Are you seriously using sleep on a Pegasus Knight? Well, we're definitely not finishing Fire Emblem 7 either, because we aren't playing it right now. Alright, there you go. Now... I need that Trek Milady support, and I really want one of... Okay, this is just so dumb. Yeah, I'm doing challenge mode in Pikmin 2, so we're definitely not finishing up Pikmin 2 this week. This only makes Klein stronger, you fools. They're like, ha, huh, we're gonna make you run out of men's staves. <laughs> I literally brought along Fa just to support Elfin, so they better get their support. Well, if you want to clear challenge mode anyways, you have to do challenge mode, no deaths. There's actually a special reward you get if you clear Pikmin 2 challenge mode without letting any Pikmin die. So I've actually done it before. However, I've only done it multiplayer co-op. I've never done single-player challenge mode deathless, so... It'll still be a new challenge. Finally! At last! Do you need something? Um... What's that thing there? It's making pretty noises. This is a harp. Do you like how it sounds? Yeah, Fa really likes it! And, what's your name? My name is Elfin, my cute little lady. Elf? Elfin. Elfin! That's right. Fa likes you too, Elfin! Your hair blows in the wind and it's like gold when the sun's all shining on it. Fa likes pretty things like that. Well, it's an honor. Thank you. Can Fa come and see you again? Of course. Anytime. Took them 240 turns to get to that point. Alright. Challenge run is going to be single player. Because I only ever stream... Well, Pikmin 2 I would have to do land multiplayer for the challenge mode. And, uh... 
I don't have anybody to do LAN multiplayer with, so... And I don't, I don't stream LAN multiplayer either. I generally stream alone, unless I'm doing, like, a multi-world randomizer seed or something. Alright, well, I'm, I'm tired of this. <laughs> I'm tired of these guys just constantly spawning in. Let's just conquer the throne. Zephyl has fallen. We've done it, Master Roy. Or have we? What? What do you mean? I do not see the Dark Priestess anywhere. Hmm, she escaped. So it seems. What? What the? Zephyl's sword. It glowed. It's... The Exacus. A sword that only the Keen of Burn can use. How... Is it like... <laughs> <laughs> Is it like, somebody who's not the king of bird picked it up? Oh no, now it turns into a shovel. <laughs> like, I'm a sword is a sword. <laughs> Master Roy, the legends say that when all of the divine weapons come together, the Dragon Temple rises out of the ground. The Dragon Temple. It was the Dragon's headquarters. Or at least, that's what the legends say. Yes, that is correct. So is the Exacus the last divine weapon? I thought Hartmut's weapon was the, the Sword of Seals. Maybe. The Sword of Seals could be something separate from the Divine Weapons. Perhaps it is even more powerful. More powerful? What powers lie in the sword? The sword glowed again! The, s the light is pointing to the south! Oh, is it like, is it like Jesus is born and we see the star in the sky over where the Dragon Temple is? So the Dragon Temple lies to where the light in, the light in pointing? Good lord, that's... There are good translations! And then there are bad translations. <laughs> this is not a particularly good translation. <laughs> there have been so many errors like that. If the legends are true, then that would indeed be the case. If the Dark Priestess is indeed the Dark Dragon, there is a high chance that she would be there. Alright, let's go to the Dragon Temple. Oh, I guess it's not over yet. Nope, it's not over yet. Now we're on Chapter 23, The Ghost of Burn. Oh... I see. Well, I'm gonna see at least what size of a level this is, and we might have to put this off to- we'll probably put this off till next time. Burn surrendered with King Zephyl's death. The great war that shook the lands of Elib was over. However, Roy's battle was not. Roy continued to search for the Dark Priestess, who could be the Dark Dragon. Following the light emitted by the Divine Weapons, Roy headed for the Dragon Temple. However, waiting for Roy in front of the temple was Brenya, the one remaining dragon lord of Burn. She had rounded up the remaining troops and was waiting to attack Roy. A battle with the now dead Kingdom of Burn. Roy already had a heavy heart at having to battle these ghosts. They're like, it's like, hey, King Zephyl's dead. Everybody surrendered. Oh, here's where all the wyverns are. Oh, barf on a lasagna. Yeah, we're not doing this tonight. Yuck! This is like the Murdoch chapter part two. I'm not doing this again tonight, nope. We're out of time, folks. So, yep, looks like Wednesday we'll be continuing Fire Emblem 6, and, uh... I hope we finish Fire Emblem 6. If we don't finish Fire Emblem 6 in Wednesday stream, we're doing a Friday stream of Fire Emblem uh, 6, because I'll be able to stay up later on Friday, because I don't have to work on Saturday. Thanks for joining in, everybody. This was a lot of fun. We have cleared... We have ended the war defeated King Zephiel, and now we, I guess we're off to something called the True Ending, or I suppose. <laughs> oh, boy! <laughs> Tune in for Wednesday! It's gonna be fantastic! Alright, see you guys! Thank you for joining in. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless!